Thank you, friends, for joining me as I share my thoughts on the film Twisters. It was date night with my wife, and we had to go see Twisters. I mean, even she knows that you have to see a movie like this in the theater. And when we saw it, we saw it in the Dolby Cinema, which always rocks. I mean, literally, it rocks your seat when you're watching it. And this is a film where they utilize Dolby Atmos at its best. So, but was it any good? I mean, let's go back to the beginning here. You know, Twister is a classic film, but it's also just a, you know, when you think of summer blockbuster, it's probably one of the ones that would come to mind. Well, maybe not, but it's probably one of the ones that would come to mind. It is a summer blockbuster film, and in it, it, it doesn't have a whole lot of, you know, it's just meant to be fun. <laughs> there, there is literally, the only thing that really keeps Twister going is the chemistry between uh, Bill Paxton and Helen Hunt. I mean, and other than that, you're just there to see tornadoes. And Twisters is absolutely no different. You know, there's more carnage. And, well, there's... You know, everybody's vulnerable, which took my wife's anxiety up to here. So it is a lot more intense. The visual effects are absolutely incredible. Uh, the sound mix is amazing, especially when you watch it in a Dolby theater. This is why you go to the theater to watch movies like this. You really do. Um, but man, it it is... It does kind of walk the line of hokey just a little bit. I mean, it doesn't go to roll your eyes levels but it 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 just walks that line where you are just there and i lee isaac young the, the director knows that this is basically a popcorn film and that you're going to absolutely just go there to have fun and watch tornadoes and thankfully there's a ton of tornadoes so if you're looking to deep dive what twisters is this is not one of those movies you go there to watch tornadoes and watch Destruction. It is a disaster film, and that's all it is, and that's what it's supposed to be. But what's really cool about Lee Isaac Young, I mean, he, he came from an independent movie and jumped right into blockbuster uh, filmmaking, and he did it flawlessly, and I think that's fantastic. I mean, he was able to just hone in the intensity, like I said, because everybody was vulnerable, and he also just made, you know, the look of it, the visual effects um, are just fantastic so you're not going in it to see anything more than that even if the movie's a little you know on that walk that line of hokiness and all that stuff but so anywho so glenn powell is kind of like the the poor man's matthew mcconaughey right and so you know there's something about him that really i haven't connected with yet you know he seems like in twisters he was still playing the same character in Ma Top Gun Maverick and it wasn't until I saw Richard Linklater's uh, Hitman on Netflix that I saw his range which was awesome and I at the beginning of Hitman if you haven't seen it, at the beginning of Hitman he plays kind of like uh, a college professional uh, unassuming college professor and I like that Glenn Powell to be honest with you I just you know this he serves his purpose of being this you know smoldering smugness you know kind of arrogant type guy uh with a heart um but i want to see more of him i want to see more range and then that way i can kind of get behind him and support this guy um but yeah he's gonna he's gonna be everywhere soon so uh he pretty much elevated his <laughs> blockbuster um uh, status now so good for him um you know, everybody else in the cast is uh, the cookie-cutter characters. There really are. Um, you know, the only thing that really connects Twister to Twisters is just a few Easter eggs. Um, if you remember what Dorothy is, that's in it. My wife wants to make sure everybody knows that the white tank top comes back. You know, I, I think what Helen Hunt made the white tank top popular. Uh, Daisy, Daisy Edgar Jones does the same thing in wearing the tank top. So um, there's little, little tiny things, but really doesn't really connect a whole lot. Um, what's really fun was that if you remember Maura Tierney, who was uh, a lead ca uh, actor in the TV show, when my kids call it the olden days, uh, 
she played in a, a ER. And so it's really fun to see her back in, in, in playing in a pretty fun character. So good for Maura Tierney. Tierney. Um, yeah, there's... I really don't have much more to say other than the fact that I love the fact that an independent filmmaker, Lee Eisen Chung, creates an amazing blockbuster, summer blockbuster popcorn film. Um, I love the visual effects. I love the sound in this film. And, man, there's... It's just another good summer film. And that's all it is, and that's all it should be. So if you want to go have fun at the theater, and for me, it was a date night with my wife, which is always a good time. You know, it is it is a movie to go see. And, yeah, don't think about it. Just go get some popcorn, have a good time. And that's the whole point of Twisters. I feel like I'm missing a whole bunch, but I, I, I don't know. Anyway... That's my thoughts. I would love to hear what you think about Twisters. Hope you had as much fun as I did. And uh, yeah, definitely drop me a line, drop me a comment, and I'd love to talk more about it. So please like and subscribe for more content. Till next time. If you feel it, yeah, yeah.